In today's video, we'll be installing presence detection in Home Assistant using this affordable millimeter wave sensor. We'll be using ESP32, and the best part is no soldering is required. Let's get started. Think of it as a radar sensor that operates similarly to how a bat navigates a dark cave, using waves to detect objects. In this case, it can accurately detect a person's breathing and movements. The first option which does not require soldering is to use an ESP32 board, the LD1115H and four jumper wires. The second option requires soldering and involves using the D1 Mini, the LD1115H and four jumper wires. Navigate to the website from the description and click on the My Add-on button. Make sure to have the correct URL and click Open Link. Click Install. You can enable Watchdog and Show in Sidebar, then click Start. Finally, click Open Web UI. Click on New Device. You can install it directly from this screen, but I've been more successful with the web version. Connect your device to your computer using a data cable and click Connect. Pick your device and click Connect. Click on Prepare for first use, then Install. On some devices you will need to hold the boot button before installing. Now that it finished installing, connect your Wi-Fi network. Now that your device is flashed, go back to Home Assistant. You should see your device in the ESP Home screen. Click Adopt. Give it a meaningful name. I'll be using it in my studio, so I called it Studio Presence. Click Adopt and skip Install. We have some changes to make. Click on the three dots and rename Hostname. Finally, click Rename. It will take a few minutes to install. Now the installation is completed, let's wire up the sensor. The wiring for the D1 Mini is as follows. VCC to 5V, ground to ground, URX to TX, UTX to RX. The wiring for the ESP32 is as follows. VCC to 5V, ground to ground, URX to P16, UTX to P17. Go back to ESP Home and edit your device. Copy your initial configuration and save it somewhere so you can refer to it later. Paste the configuration from the blog post for your device. Make sure the name in the configuration matches the hostname from the previous step. Friendly name can be whatever you want. Paste the values from your initial configuration. If you use the same schematics as me, there is no need to change the values of the pins. Finally, click Install. Let's install wirelessly to check the connection. The process takes a few minutes. At the end you should see some values populated in the logs. Navigate to the Devices and Services menu. You should see your device there. Click Configure and assign it to a room if you like. If you don't see any values, just refresh the page. As you can see there are four control sliders. Clearance time control how much time it takes for a status to clear. Movement time control how much time it detects movement until it becomes occupied. Movement sensitivity, as the name implies, the higher the number, the less sensitive it is. Occupancy sensitivity, the same, the higher the value, the less sensitive it is. There are many sensors we can use to automate. The one I'm going to use is the occupancy or movement sensor. Let's create an automation. Click the plus icon next to Automations. Under Do Something When, click on Occupancy or Movement Became Occupied. We already have a trigger populated. Click on the three dots and choose Edit ID. Trigger IDs makes using automations much easier. Give it a name, in my case, Detected. Then duplicate the trigger. Change it to Not Occupied. And change the trigger ID accordingly. In my case, Cleared. Now let's add the actions. Click on Choose. Then add condition with Triggered by ID. Pick Detected. Then for the action, I want to pick the light turn on service with the entity ID of Studio Light Strip. Now let's add the second option, which will be the exact opposite. With the trigger cleared, 
and the service light turn off. Give your automation a name and click save. This is how it looks. When the sensor becomes occupied, light turns on. When it becomes not occupied, lights turn off. Congrats on installing presence detection in Home Assistant. Now the automation possibilities are endless. One of my personal favorite is the holy grail of home automation, bathroom presence detection. If you want to see a future video of me integrating the LD2410 sensor with humidity and temperature sensors, make sure to subscribe to get notified. Until then, thanks for watching.